right. So I wanted to go over to your annotated bibliography because, you know, a couple of you filled out the template, looks good. Um, but I think there's some work that's needed on a lot of these as well as finding correct articles or articles that are good choices for lit literature review. Uh, so make sure you're using the template first and foremost. I mean, that's why it's provided here, right? So when you download this, it's a Word document. You can edit it. Um, you can cut and copy it so you can use it multiple times, but you should be filling out each section of this temp um, template, okay? This is what an annotated bibliography is. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking your research article and you're breaking it down into the various parts to help, you know, uh, identify the main points of it, right? So what you put into your annotated bibliography, you're going to take that same thing and put it into your lit review. So you're doing some of the writing for your lit review now. And you should have less to do later because you're pulling from the annotated bibliographies that you did if you do them right. Okay. So you have two more that you're going to submit. So make sure you're using this template. Then there is an example here. Uh, the only difference with the example is I forgot to put the summary in here. But what you could do is you could take the what is the article about section and um, make this a little bit more brief and then put a little bit more into what uh, summary of the, the research the article is, okay? Um, and then there's examples in here of why the research was perfor uh, performed. You can see there's pretty good detail in the findings sections um, on a lot of these. So scroll through some of these. You know, these are pretty well-written um, annotated bibliographies, right? A lot of information. So you're putting everything into your own words. There's no in-text citations in here. You know, this is just your uh, words from the article, you know, that are explaining it, okay? Um, a couple of you, I noticed the strengths and weaknesses section are a little bit vague. I think those are a little harder to write sometimes. Um, you know, you, you have to be more specific, more detailed as to why this, you know, uh, article is strong. Like, what are the, the strengths to it? Um, and be more specific on the weaknesses, too. Like, you know, just because an article um, is not as long as another article or is shorter doesn't mean that that's a weakness. Like, there could be, you know, a great deal of insightful impactful information in an article that's five pages versus 20 pages, you know, so the length of it doesn't necessarily make it a weakness. So read through some of these and um, you'll get a better idea of what the uh, article should be about. And then I noticed a number of you were using um, just like, like the CDC type website um, or somebody used, I think, very well mined. Um, you, you have to find an actual research project study that was conducted, okay? Your best bet is to go through the library database here at Roosevelt. So I searched for library, you know, you want to click on databases. Um, and then you guys are, I mean, it's research methods, but it's criminal justice, right? So there's one here for, oh, where is it? Criminal justice, right? So you can cl click on the criminal justice, it takes you into here. And then I searched cocaine, okay? So if you do an advanced search, I searched cocaine, I checked full text, peer reviewed, which is what you want. You want an article, right? You don't want a book or anything, magazine, nothing like that. You want an article and then click search. Okay. And so these are the articles that came up. So let's click on this first one and see if this is a good choice. <laughs> So the abstract can usually tell you right off the bat if this is going to be a good choice of something that you uh, can use or not, okay? So let me see what this says. So this did qualitative interviews. You're, you're better to go with a quantitative study. Um, so that would not be a good choice for an article. So let's look at this second one. Um, Chewing of cocoa leaves and drinking of cocoa tea are allowed in common. So, hair samples from cocoa chewers and cocaine users were gathered. 
So this looks more like, yeah, like this was like a hypothesis. This was a uh, hypothesis was created. There's variables in here. There's your population sample. You know, so this looks like it could be an article that could work. Now, I don't know what your topics are other than, you know, the main drug itself or what direction you're going to take the, um, the lit review that you're doing. But this, you know, has an actual sample, an actual study that was done. Okay. Let's see what this one has to say. The hardest part of doing a lit review is finding appropriate articles that has an actual, you know, study actual research method that was done. So let's see what this one has to say. It looks like so they did a nine session, four month enhanced intervention. So it looks like there's a description the method they compared. Yeah, participants, there's 1,362 participants that were used for this. So this would be a good study that, you know, you could do um, for your paper. So keep in mind, though, you want to find articles that are related to one another, um, you know, because you're writing one cohesive overview of the literature that you found, right? So whatever direction you take your paper, you know, based off of your, you know, documentary and that you watched and and uh, what you found that was, you know, interesting or that you want to further research, your all, all your articles should be rel relatively the same idea, okay? So like I said, finding the articles is the hardest part to, you know, doing a lit review. Um, but you just have to kind of go through, you know, each article that you find and see, you know, if it's an actual research study that was done, you're looking for participants. If you can see like the participants that are in here, um, then you know it's a it's a good study and it was actual research, you know, that that took place, okay? And not just a review of other research that was done, all right? Um, only five, I didn't see participants offhand when I scrolled through this one. But maybe, yeah. Yeah, so there's participants in this. So it tells you, yeah, 72% of qualified. Yeah, so that would be another article that would work. Okay, but it has to be research-based. It has to be peer-reviewed. You know, it should be some kind of scholarly source that you're looking for, all right? So take a look at the feedback I left um, on your grades and then make sure that, you know, the next two that you do, because you're going to submit the annotated uh, bibliography for the second one and the third one in week five. Okay, so you've got some time to try and find appropriate articles. And then be sure you also take, like I gave you an example of, of a completed lit review. All right, so you can take a look at that to see what it looks like when all is said and done. Um, this obviously is not on drugs. This is from a different class at a different college that did a lit review, but walks you through, you know, what the uh, abstract is, what the keyword choices were for the lit review. Um, this one's a little bit longer. This is nine pages altogether. You guys aren't quite doing that many, um, but you can kind of get the overall view of what the you know, breakdown is, and then you can see the articles, you know, and kind of the general relationship that they have, you know, to um, one another. So you can see the major theme here of this is like the, the police department and tasers, right, using tasers. Um, so that was kind of the main theme of these. Uh, of this lit review is, is what the focus is on. So figure out what your main theme is, okay? And then start searching for articles, okay, that you're going to do um, that all relate to one another. So that you have the same common theme among all of your articles, all right? If you have any further questions, reach out. Otherwise, um, I look forward to, you know, reading some of the changes and stuff that you make in the next couple that you submit. You guys have a great day.